But let's start here. The Amazulu nation has suffered yet another loss. Its regent queen, Manfombi Dlamini, has passed away. The queen's death comes just weeks after Amazulu king, Goodwill Zweletini, had passed away. Amazulu traditional prime minister, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi, had assured the nation that there will be no leadership vacuum. Well, ENCA senior reporter Spamant Lakoke is following developments for us and joins us now to give us an update on this tragic update and news. Pamantla, good morning to you, colleague. I mean, uh, I, I suppose it's not what the Zulu nation is, um, you know, no, no, it's not what they prepare to hear at this point. They've lost a king just last month, and now we hear the news that tragically the region queen has passed away. Indeed, I was speaking to some senior members of the royal family yesterday night. They were telling me that actually it's not even double blow, it's triple blow. You have to rewind a bit, go towards the end of last year when the king lost his firstborn son, that is Prince Letuk Tula Zulu, and then the king himself passed away. Now you are talking about Queen Mantombi here. So they are really devastated. This is a big shock to the Zulu royal family and the nation as a whole. Remember, this is significant because she's the one who was left with the throne by her late husband, the departed king, and she's the one who was expected to name a successor, and she was still in that period of mourning for about three months, and then the royal family was busy assembling a team of advisors that was going to help her run the kingdom for now, up until a permanent successor is elected and then is uh, basically made to take over the throne. There will be that coronation. But all of those plans now will have to be put on hold because they need to mourn now the departed queen. Remember here, in terms of the will that was left by the departed king, she is the one who was left with the throne. And then that gave rise to the speculation that her firstborn son, that is Prince Misuzulu, was going to be the one to take over here. And she was busy in that process. But our royal sources have been telling us that she's been unwell since 2016, yet she was meant to undergo an operation this week. We are not sure what happened, but we know for a fact that she was airlifted from Wanongoma and then to Deben, from Deben to one of the hospitals in Johannesburg. We are told by our sources that she passed away in Johannesburg, waiting to undergo that operation. But she has been unwell for some time now. And have we heard from the Prime Minister, uh, Prince Mangosutu Butele, is in a form of a statement as to uh, what happens next? Well, basically what we know is that yesterday evening, the traditional prime minister of Amazulu nation, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi, as the official spokesperson, he did send out that statement confirming the passing of the queen. But he was very quick to add that there will be no leadership vacuum. I think for now, the royal family members and Amazulu as a nation are worried and are preoccupied with what now, what will happen now that the regent is no more. And she was still in the process of naming a successor herself. According to Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi, we understand that the royal family will be seized with the matter. We understand that there will be an emergency meeting to discuss all of that. Remember that news broke last night. So from today onwards, they will be having a series of back-to-back -back meetings to try and decide what will happen moving forward. This comes at the back of that very strong succession battle in the royal family itself, there were media reports that there were different factions who were trying to wrestle control of that kingdom. So this is significant because without the queen now, those fears are renewed as to what will happen to the throne. You know, the kingdom will be thrown into disarray. Uh, we'll leave it there and uh, we'll be sure to get more updates from you as, of course, they develop. That's uh, ENCA senior reporter, Pamantla Koke.